congrats to OBS for shipping OBS 29, now including AV1 support for all of the GPU providers, at least on the Windows version, and there's nowhere to actually use it to stream right now, so you know, one step at a time, it'll happen eventually. At least, I'd like to say congrats if the project wasn't in kind of a mess of a state on Linux right now, and like normal, it's not the fault of OBS. Now, if you're using a native package, you're pretty much all good, but Ubuntu is the only distro with an official native package. For anybody else, you should be using the Flatpak. Now, the reason why the official package matters for OBS is there are features like the Twitch and YouTube integration that will only ever be possible in those official packages. They rely on private keys from the OBS team that you just don't have available if you build OBS yourself or you're using a package on something like Arch Linux, for example. Now, over the past week or so, there have been issues with both OBS 28 and OBS 29. The OBS 28 issue has been fixed, but the OBS 29 issue is completely different. We'll start on the OBS 28 issue. So the other day I tried to start recording a video and I got an error. This error I've seen many times in the past, it was about my hardware encoder, telling me to make sure that my GPU drivers are actually up to date. I've seen this happen many times in the past, usually what it means is there is a mismatch between OBS and my GPU drivers. So the best bet here is just do a full update, update your flat packs, update your system packages, do a restart, and then see what happens. In this case, the problem still persisted. So I went into my settings on OBS, made sure that my GPU was selected correctly, reapplied everything, and the problem was still happening. Then I checked out the native package, and it was working. Now, unlike with an app image, where everything that the app image needs is bundled inside the app image, in the case of flat packs, flat packs still have dependencies on other flat packs. Sort of treat flat pack as like an encapsulated distro running on top of your distro. Most obviously, you'll have things like themes but you have things like the KDE application platform, the GNOME application platform, the Mesa package, this default package, and a bunch of other little things like that. So after digging around a bit, chatting with Titan652, reporting the issue, and then being told it's actually a duplicate issue, I was sent to this issue right here, libva slash user slash lib slash x64 linux gnu, all of this nonsense here, radeon si underscore drv underscore video dot so has no function va driver init 1.0. There seems to be some kind of VARP API break. I'm trying to use FFmpeg VARP encoder from OBS built on org.kde.platform slash x8664 6.3, which is allegedly org.freedesktop.platform slash slash 21.8. So OBS relies on this package, and this package is actually built off another package being this package. This is the same with things like the GNOME platform package and any other platform packages that might exist. Now, seeing as though this is an H.264 encoder issue, you might be thinking, is this somehow related to the H.264 patent nonsense? No. In this case, it is completely unrelated. Everything should seemingly be working. The actual issue here is a little bit more mundane. So this is an issue with something known as libva specifically with a version bump that happened because of an update to org.freedesktop.platform.gl.default slash slash 21.8, this commit right here. And in this commit, libva, which is the library implementation of VARPI, which is used for doing your encoder stuff, it was updated from 2.12.0-0- this giant string here to 2.13.0-0- this giant string here. And in that version, something happened. Now here's the real fun part. Nobody actually knows what the problem was. 
I can't see anything obvious in the diff between 2.12 and 2.13 that might cause this. However, we don't appear to lose much by reverting it. And that's exactly what was done. Revert libva back to 2.12 and freeze. Now you might think, hey, maybe something's going to be dealt with upstream with libva. No one's made an issue in the libva project, so I guess it's just going to stay frozen for now. Now the fix is out there, but pretty much all you had to do when it was broken is just revert that one problem commit. So flat pack update, dash dash commit, the commit ID, which is this big string here, and then on the thing you want to revert. So in this case, org.freedesktop.platform.gl.default slash slash 21.8. This is going to fix the issue over on the AMD side. On the Intel side, there is a separate commit to revert. That being on the org.freedesktop.platform.varpy.intel slash slash 21.8 with this commit string here. Over on the NVIDIA side, all of that stuff is done in the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. So it's just not an issue, full stop. Now, remember how I said the OBS 28 wasn't a pattern issue. Do you know what time it is? It's pattern issue time, guys. Once again, we can't let this issue die. It has to keep coming back. So along with having a bunch of really cool new features, OBS 29 also sees a dependency bump. So that org.freedesktop.platform package is now using the 22.08 branch. And for the org.kde.platform package, that is now using 6.4. Now, this is great. So why are we talking about the pattern issue? Well, with the migration from 21.08 to 22.08, they decided this is where we want to bring the issue back into the spotlight. So in the old version, the patents were still available inside of the package. In the new version, there is now two versions of the package. We have the regular package and we also have the extra package. The regular package has none of the patents, the extra package does. So for OBS, the extra package is what you need to be using. This is great because you can just install it. And better yet, when you actually upgrade from an older version, it will go and automatically download the extra package giving you nothing you have to do. This is where the issue starts. To account for the package split, the platform packages like the GNOME package and the KDE package, the one we actually need, need to be rebuilt to account for the split. And that's fine. Just rebuild them then. Well, that exactly is the issue. You haven't been able to build the KDE package. So the KDE runtime, the KDE platform is missing a rebuild but it cannot be rebuilt because the free desktop SDK, that org.freedesktop.platform package, is not shipping the Bluetooth libraries correctly. This merge request fixes exactly that problem. And this has now been merged and backported. So now we are just waiting on a new release actually happening, which is being worked on. And then once that is released, then the KDE runtime can actually be rebuilt and things will actually function then. Basically, it is a giant series of dependencies, and until one step is done, the next step can't even remotely be started. I don't know when this is going to be done, but the problem is well established now. Everybody is aware of what's happening and what needs to be done. It's just a matter of actually getting the work done. Hopefully this is done within like a couple of days, but until then, do not install OBS 29 if you are using an AMD GPU. On the Intel side and the Nvidia side, they are not affected. That Intel issue from 28 is not part of this issue. And Nvidia, once again, does everything in their proprietary drivers. What a brilliant and fun time to be a Linux content creator. If for whatever reason you do end up installing OBS 29, you can always roll back to an older version or just go and use the native package temporarily until things are actually dealt with. 
when this is dealt with, I'll probably pin a comment mentioning that you can go and do so safely, but until then, I guess you're pretty much on your own. Don't go and harass anyone about this, everyone is fully aware of the problem, it's just a matter of time now. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you use OBS? Do you rely on H.264? Are you a weird person doing everything with software encoding? I would love to know. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, send me a pay, link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody on Games. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.